Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and today we're going to be talking about Bin Coton Charcoal Sticks for filtering water. So I started using these about three-ish years ago and what they do is the particles inside are charged so they soak in toxins such as chlorine, lead, etc. and filter them away from your drinking water. To use, simply plop the stick into a carafe or water bottle, fill it up with water and wait a few hours so that it can do its thing. After a couple of hours, you can remove the stick and it's ready to drink. Since I toss it into my water bottle, I just leave the stick in there and experts say that the longer the charcoal is in contact with your water, the more toxins it'll trap. You can use each stick for about 3-4 to four months, remembering to boil it for 10 minutes every 2-ish weeks to refresh it. When the 3-4 to four months are over, you can actually dry it out and use it as a deodorizer around the house by sticking it into your closet or a shoe. From what I've read about activated charcoal or activated carbon, it has adsorption properties which means that its molecules are charged so that it kind of attracts these toxins from your water and has the ability to trap them in there. It is the same principle that you see in activated charcoal products such as face masks and soaps and stuff. And it's actually the same basis that you see in Brita type filters. So in their case, if you ever break open one of their plastic containers, you'll see these little black specks. Those are granular activated charcoal made from coconut shells. And what they do is the exact same thing. It is important to note that out of all of the water filtration systems that are out there, these Brita type granular activated charcoal filters almost always rank amongst the worst. So one of the reasons why I can see this happening is because once your filter is saturated with toxins and stuff, they have nowhere to go. So once you pour more water in there, it's going to go back into your drinking water, maybe making it even worse than it originally started with. If you can imagine a sponge, if it's dry, you can pour water and it'll take it in. But once it's reached its maximum saturation levels or maximum capacity to hold water, the extra water is just going to run out and that's what I see happening with oversaturated charcoal filters. But that raises the question of why the hell am I still using activated charcoal? It seems to be effective enough. Check the description box for a link to adsorption techniques. There's a section on activated carbon filtration. It is relatively inexpensive. The bigger sticks go for about $11 at the Big Carrot the last time I checked. The thinner personal size sticks come in a package of 6 from Amazon at $27.95 plus tax. I also keep track of when to boil my sticks and when to replace them in my planner so I'm not too too concerned about toxins leaching back into my drinking water. I also like to believe that Toronto waters aren't that bad to begin with. I've included the link to drinking water analysis reports for my city in the description box below, but a simple googling will likely give you the results for your area and you can decide for yourself whether municipal water treatments are good enough for you. Bincoton is also eco-friendly-ish. The filter itself is not contributing to our plastic waste problem. Brita filters of course encase their carbon with plastic and disposable plastic water bottles are a big hell no for me. It also doesn't produce extensive water waste as in reverse osmosis filtration systems and when its useful life is over the charcoal can be broken down into pieces and composted. I do say eco-friendly-ish because I'm pretty sure the packaging on some Bincoton sticks are not entirely recyclable so pay attention to that before buying. My six most recent sticks at least came in bulk but they packaged it in cardboard, in plastic, as well as a paper plastic mixed mailer. That is all I have for you for this week. Please note that I am not sponsored by the charcoal people. It's just something that I use in my day-to-day -day life and I wanted to share it with you so that everybody can live more healthfully and more holistically. I will see you next week, but when you get a chance, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching!